Howdy, everybody. Uh, it's about lunchtime uh, here in Central Texas on this uh, first Friday of September. And a life lesson for today is don't assume you know anything. But in the same part of that, don't assume that you know more or less than anybody else. Um, and that's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to say, I don't know anything. And it's a hard thing to say, I know less than anybody else. But the interesting thing is, if you listen to any of the top CEOs, entrepreneurs, small businessmen, large businessmen, if, they're, if, if they've put their ego aside, they will tell you they do not want to be the smartest person in the room. When they have a board meeting, when they have a research and development meeting, they'll tell you they don't want to be the smartest person in the room because if they're the smartest person in the room, they've hired the wrong staff because they don't want to do it all themselves. So what does that tell you? You should not know anything, which is hard to say, but in saying that, it means if I don't know anything, I have to come at life from a learning perspective. It took me a long time. I'll be honest. It took me a long time to get to that point, like 40 plus years to get to that point to say, I don't know anything. You know, as teenagers, we all know we've, that those of us that have grown past the teens, we all know when we were teenagers, we thought we knew everything. I let that continue on far longer than it should have. And now I know there are a lot of people out there that know a lot more than I do. And there's a lot of information out there that I have no idea about. In grade school, sure, we learned how to program on, you know, DOS and that kind of thing. And so we could write our little computer program and you could say, oh, I know how to do computer programming. I don't know the first thing about computer programming right now in the way that it works today. There's stuff that's done with CG, that like CGI and not like all that stuff. I'm like, I have no idea how they make it look like that, how they make that happen. And I don't want to. If I needed to get that done, then I'm going to pay for somebody's expertise to get it done. Which goes back to what I talked about uh, a week ago and two weeks ago in that knowing who your experts are that you can reach out to and say, I need your help. But the only way you can get to that is when you stop and say to yourself, I don't know enough myself to do this. You know, and talk to a plumber, they'll tell you all day long, and they hate people like me because, yeah, I, I know enough from what my grandfather taught me about plumbing. I know enough to be able to be dangerous and fix enough just just on the cusp of probably where I should be and when I should be calling someone to actually come in and fix it themselves and fix it professionally and I'm sure and plumbers will tell you they come across that all the time where people are trying to fix it themselves and it doesn't work or it might work short term and then it becomes worse in the long term the expertise is there for a reason and when you can get to the point where you can say and you might know like, there's a lot about nutrition that I know. There's a lot about fitness that I know that, that puts me at the expert level. And people have called me different levels of expert in, in nutrition and fitness and wellness and health and all those things. But I know enough to say I don't know enough yet. I know enough to say that I'm not where I want to be with that. And I know enough to say that I don't know anything yet about health and wellness and fitness and nutrition. That's how much there is to know, is that when you become an expert, you still have to drive and you still have to, to go after more. And that's what life is about, is about relationships with people and having those relationships with people and continually learning. Because if you stop learning, then, then you stop growing. Quite frankly, you stop growing. If you stop learning, you stop growing. And that's not what we want. Because 
if you stop learning and you don't want to advance any more knowledge in any specific area, then basically you become the grumpy old man that sits on his on his uh, front porch and yells at the kids that ride by. That are the kids are having fun with their life, but you've become the person that says, "I don't want anything else, and I don't want to move forward, and I don't want to." And that those are the people that are grumpy and dissatisfied with life and that's not who you want to be you you may want to be that person I don't know but it's not who you should want to be because very few of those people are happy what you want is relationships and you want to be continually learning about the things that make you passionate um, the things that drive you and as we can all attest to with technology, the way that technology has gone in the last 30 years, 20 years, two years, like there's so much to be learned about so many different things out there um, that things change on a daily basis. So just don't give up that learning attitude. And when you get to the point where you think you know everything, you're going to stop learning and you're going to stop having the desire to learn. So keep telling yourself, I don't know anything yet. And if you keep telling yourself, I don't know anything yet, your brain will receive that and say, I have to learn something today. And that's going to make you, A, it's going to keep your brain sharp. And if your brain stays sharp and your brain stays continually moving in that learning aspect, you're going to live a longer life. There's research that proves that. People that, that strive to learn things, that strive to, to stress their brain in that learning aspect uh, do live longer than the people that don't um, so there's that aspect of it but the other thing is that when you strive to learn it inherently means I have to make connection with other people I have to make connection with somebody who knows more than me in this area or that area and those relationships will help you live a longer life will help you have a happier life will help you have a healthier life and so Get to the point where you can say, I don't know anything. It's humbling. But when you get there and you understand that, you approach life differently. And you, your brain operates a little.